reveal your weakness. Yes, so they did. did. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's good to have just a bit of an idea, and then if it does start to, um, you know, you know what's coming next if, if it starts to go off tangent a little bit. Yeah, but, but, but then, but then don't, don't, yeah. <laughs> say, don't worry if the session doesn't stick strictly to the plan. So if you then start having a conversation and they've read a book and they want to tell and it's a book about um, animals and they want to tell you about the animals and pets they've got, that's great. It might be not what you in, intended the discussion to be about, but actually if they're opening up to you and they're discuss, dis, discussing um, that, you can bring in lots of vocab into that and talk about oh, where might pets go if they were ill and you, you know, open them up to lots of different you can always steer it back yeah, to, try and, to the, yeah, the book or the back task the anyway. Um, but yeah, do have those conversations with them. Yeah. That's kind of what if they want to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, a couple of questions. So will the child bring their own book? So yes, they should have their own reading book um, provided by the school. And as we said, it might be a new book where you could do that walkthrough. Uh, with them or it might be a book they've already begun reading but that's a good opportunity for uh, summarising and uh, sequencing as well. Yeah. Um, can you read to the child? Definitely as we said at the start that's really really important um, for them to hear good reading and hear it being modelled. Um, it really is an essential part of them learning to do it just like that. Um, and if they become disengaged you know, it, it can be hard, but don't worry about it. Just try to build up that conversation. Um, even if you have to move the book out of the way for five minutes, you know, just to, to try and get them back on or play a couple of the games um, and then gradually introduce that reading element back in. Um, you know, they can always be, be talked around, can't they? Mm -hmm. But it's just about, about them, you know, building that relationship with you and, and wanting to. It might be that they're just a bit shy for yeah. the first couple of sessions. They might actually want to do it, but they just might be a bit worried mm -hmm. about reading to you. So just making sure that they feel happy and safe, really, is the, the main thing. And then once they feel um, secure with you, then they will actually be open to reading to you. So it might be that it's not that they don't want to do it, it's just that they might just be a bit worried. Is it going to be the same child that you're reading with every week? Yeah, the whole world. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah. For the full hour, or are we going to have two children? Two children. Two children. That'll give you a really nice yeah. chance to build up. Uh, yeah. But it'll always be one on one rather than. Yeah, yes, yeah. so it'll be half an hour with one child and then you'll, you'll yeah. change. Because you'll just, I think, if you have two children together, you always find that there's a dominant child yeah. and they'll yeah. take over the conversation, and actually, the quieter one possibly just needs that one to one time. Yeah. 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 Any other questions? Yeah, where in the like in the classroom are you going to be with them? Um, are you in the class with the rest of their class, or um, it would depend. Um, it will vary on each school. Yeah. Yeah. Normally, like if they come into my school, they sit just outside. The, we have like a like a corridor in my school, and they normally just sit just outside the door, and I will leave the classroom door open yeah. okay. so that. The, you know, you still can see them from the classroom. Yeah. Or some schools have a shared area. You might there's some te right. some teachers might prefer you to stay in, and you might be in like a reading corner. So it will just depend on the school. But um, wherever you're told to to go, just make sure you feel happy with that place yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah same for us. We have um, sort of a corridor with the tables set out and, and the classroom door open. People walking past constantly. Um, sometimes if it is in the classroom, they can be a bit distracted yeah. by whatever, whatever yeah. else is going on. Yeah. Um, They'll but tell yeah, you what's going on over there, but they won't tell you what's <laughs> going on in the book. Um, but yeah, it will depend on the school. So what I can circulate is, um, or will circulate before you go into your schools, is um, the briefing that I did for the coordinators, just uh, around the detail of your session. So it's it's that the children are, um, that you have half an hour with each child and you're there for, for an hour. Um, and I've just explained to the coordinators the kinds of things you'll be doing. But they will look after you, they will um, make sure that you've got everything you need um, and if you have any problems at all, um, they'll be around for you to, to hook <coughs> up with. Um, if you want to say anything after the session to them or, or if you want to catch them before the session, that's, they, they're kind of ready. Ready for that. They will often come out with a book and they will sometimes come out with a reading record as well. So I know if any, any volunteers come into mind, I, I will ask them to just write some comments in the reading record. Um, so you could say, you know, 
I really enjoyed the discussion, was able to answer lots of questions. Or if it's if they didn't do as well, you might say they struggled on um, certain words and we use phonics to segment the words. So do write a, a bit of a, a commentary in the reading record because that will be very useful to the teachers as well. And then we'll organise um, a, a drop-in time about, you know, after about three weeks. Um, if you want to come along and just ask, ask some more questions around what you're doing or if you're having any difficulties. But also ask, ask the adults in school as well because they'll help you as well. Um, and just so you know, the six schools that I asked whether they would be interested in doing this, um, bit my hands off all of them. So they are really, oh, they really keen. Really, yeah, yeah, so they happy will be happy for really happy. Yeah. Yeah, big thank you to everybody for volunteering, really appreciate it. Can we get a picture for marketing purposes? Because we want to recruit more volunteers in the future, so... Can I just ask a question? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we're only going, if we're only allocating six people, then we don't have to teach. Is it possible that we could put like, a mini profile on the child, so straight away we're going in knowing what that child likes, so we know straight away whether they like football or... Not. Um, I think that's a great idea. So that's the other thing I probably should have said at the beginning is that this is a pilot where we're learning around about um, how to um, continue doing, the, doing this um, into the future with um, hopefully more volunteers um, and, and hopefully by, by seeing um, it work. So we're going to evaluate this uh, just before Christmas so we know what we're doing after Christmas. Um, that would have been a great idea. Um, but right now the schools are expecting you to go in, does everyone know this Sarah, tomorrow, um, Friday. Uh, Friday. sorry Friday, yes I'm on Thursday already, um, Friday at 1.30 for, for an hour, so there probably isn't time to get the information for you, in fact, could have a brief conversation with the teacher though, yeah. Just said, mm -hmm. Charlie's right, and just said they're going a week on Friday. Oh, okay, you're going a week on Friday. I'll use me on Friday. You're going a week on Friday, that's yeah. fine. I will, I will ask the school if they can send something. At the moment, I'm having a little bit of difficulty getting um, just the names of the children and the year groups they're in, but I will do my very best because I think it's a really nice idea um, because then you can kind of start to think about things a little bit yeah, that's what I'm beforehand. Thinking of yeah. Because you might get gender types and you might think oh you've got a boy they'll be like football but they might not do yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you say you might get a girl and she's really into football so yeah. like I said just a little brief yeah absolutely and what point. I will be able to tell you is um, does everyone know which school they're in yet Sarah? Um, what's like? Is this but does, does everyone know that yet? Or? Yes yeah, yeah. sent out that's where the one went going. Great. So you'll know your school and you'll know the year group. I can't remember what Waterloo are doing. Is it year we, six? I think we've got all the year groups. Okay. Um, I will. I will. If I send that to you, will you send that? So you know whether it's going to be an eleven-year-old or a seven-year-old, yes. basically, which is a starting point for some schools. Um, so whoever's in Gorse Hall got their details. So I, I know the, the children there, um, but I haven't yeah. haven't had all of those back just yet. But Can we'll, I we'll get just to add a little one? Not being kind of, um, I've been designated officer in schools, so from the same learning point of view, I'd just probably add that if children do want to tell you something, don't question them, don't mm -hmm. delve any more information, make sure you kind of pass that information on as, as soon as possible, and if they do come out with, kind of tell you something or you keep a secret, don't promise that you will keep a secret, say that if they tell you something that concerns you, you will have to tell somebody that information, just kind of say okay, so you can, yeah. yeah. Yeah, don't ask them if, like you just said, if you say, oh, you know, my brother hit me last night. Don't say, oh, why? What? What, what did you do? Just say, yeah. oh, right, okay. And then you can pass that straight on. And it might seem like you're just sort of ignoring it, but if you start asking leading questions, then that that could come back on you. So just say, right, okay. Well, I'll I'll make sure that you know you're teaching us, but you'll pass it on to the designated lead. I do think this pack is very good. Very Thank well you. Thank you very much. <laughs> very cool. There's two wonderful ladies who, um, who I think it was, was it Thursday last Thursday. week who were doing this? Yeah. So, so, um, fantastic work. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much for not working for Campus Party. You're doing five weeks, and then five weeks you're not doing full ten weeks. But you can, yeah, let's, you, yeah, if you send something round to everybody and then have the discussion. Yeah, I think you've already, sorry, who's Trevor? Yeah, Trevor's, you've got all the information, haven't you, about the split and you know what you're doing. You've got the split. I don't know what you want. Sorry, I thought I didn't know. So, we, so Sarah and I will just get together um, and make sure you've got all the information 
um, or as much as we've got at any rate about the school. Say that again. We're going to use the books for the picture. Alright, okay, yeah. Just, <laughs> just, just to reiterate that point, Bill Collins, don't know me, I'm Tim Bowman, I'm the assistant director for education here in Tensai. Colleagues have worked at absolute breakneck speed to get all this uh, sorted out, um, and it's brilliant. And the reason they've worked at breakneck speed is so that we can do it and do it before Christmas, learn some stuff and do some more, uh, some more things. So, what we really need is people's feedback all the way through, all the way yeah, through the process, and um, back, to, back to what's over here so, so, we, so, we, can, so we can learn. Because these programs really do work. They've worked in other places around the country, but you have to work out how they work here. Mm -hmm. So yes. it's no good, you know, we've got to go well in Tame mm -hmm. with our schools and with the things that we've got and with the colleagues and partners that we've got. How, how can we make it work? So it really is, thank you. Um, done a brilliant job, an absolutely brilliant job. Um, as of, as of you guys, and I, I agree, it's absolutely exceptional stuff. There'll be things that we haven't got around to uh, that will, uh, but we're going to, uh, but as, as you say, the 30 minutes that we do with the kids will be brilliant, um, um, regardless of any of, uh, of any of that stuff. And it is an end in itself uh, um, for, for those for those young people. Whether we can measure it in impact terms is by the by. It will be an end in itself as a, as a learning experience um, for, 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 for the young people. So thank you very thank you very much. It will definitely be definitely be successful. We're going to have to just roll with a few bits um, as as, as, we, as we go through it. As the weeks go on, you'll find things like, oh, that worked work really well, or, and you'll start to develop your own um, style in those sessions, and that's absolutely fine as well, because actually the children will appreciate that you, you're tailoring it to their needs. Mm -hmm. So even though we have tried to make suggestions, that that is only our suggestions that we've put together and, and you will and they might suggest things to you as well and like, oh, yeah, let's do that. Jane, can I make one other ask as well? Just yes, just of course. To, to think about. Um, my daughter is in year one, uh, my oldest daughter is in year one. Um, school do things in reception that are all right. This is a lot better uh, than any of that stuff. I'm just thinking about the point of things that you've done here and I suppose my ask is can we think about how we could offer this presentation without the bits about uh, to mm. parents of children parents. reception. Mm. Um, yeah. Because all this, you're absolutely right about phonics. It's an absolute stand back and think, oh my gosh, I don't know where any of that stuff is. Mm. I'm saying the wrong words, I'm doing sheep, not, well, I'm not helping. <laughs> I'm not, you know, and particularly the bits about questions uh, as well, because it, it runs at you, doesn't it, in mm. reception? Um, yeah. So, uh, and, and again, the point about the tips that come back from our experience of reading to feedback mm. into that presentation, I just think for parents it's it would be a really, yeah. Yeah. A really interesting thing for us to think about. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is because I've got a son who's 17 and when my son went to school there was no such things as money. Yep. And then when my two daughters had gone to school I was like, oh. Yeah. No, yeah, reading where does this different. come from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did reading change? Yeah. Absolutely. And then yeah. I was finding myself on the internet looking at videos yeah. and just yeah. seeing how you pronounce the words and things. Yes, yeah. 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 quite so. Right, let's get a picture okay. because you want to recruit more volunteers, so grab a book and smile. And <laughs> just sit down, just sit down. Yeah, we just, we just want to get on to. I think I can't do this. We're going to do this session, so when we. Can I do that? <laughs>